All right, I think we're going to get started. Just hoping you guys can join me tonight to talk about the composer. Um, I think we all know that um, the, the composer on occasion nails it. And, um, you know, when I say nails it, we all have our own words for that. Maybe it's like, you know, it's really in the pocket. Maybe you say, it's a home run. You've all, you know, that's your own interpretation of that, but I, I think we kind of sense what that means. There are other times when, hmm, <laughs> in spite of his best attempts, he fails. And this really isn't, doesn't have anything to do with, you know, his, his desire, his, his effort, even, even his abilities, but that's just, that's just the brakes. That's the way it goes. Then, you know, there are times when the composer, he, he comes close. He, he, he really tries hard and, and you know, but, but it's, a, it's a near miss, as it says, you know, there. And then, in spite of it all, the composer perseveres. And, you know, stares down his failures, takes from his, his successes, and, and continues on. What I'd like to do now for the next while is, is sort of break down each one of those four areas and just take a little closer look at the composer uh, with some very specific examples. Uh, not right away, but later on, I may ask you to use your cell phone for something. So in spite of the severe warnings we have at the beginning of the, of the concert, um, you may want to have that handy and powered up and ready. Um, if you, I mean, you know, if you have to Instagram a shot of me, it's not, it's not the worst thing in the world, but just don't, just try not to use flash. So, it's a hope. here of a piece for flute and electronics called Boundless Light, which is, you know, I feel an, an, uh, an example of when the composer nails it. I mean, let, let's just say, one, one way to kind of put that in perspective is that a very distinguished composer who teaches, who, who holds a chaired position at a very distinguished university once told the composer that it was because of this piece that the composer was invited for an interview of the institution. I think we can understand what that means. So let's, let's just listen to a short clip and, and hopefully you'll, you'll agree with me. Let's see what happens. just a little clip, but maybe if I could just sort of summarize a few points. I mean, first of all, we've got seamless integration of the electronic and acoustic sound such that it's just, you know, it's the timbre of one blends seamlessly into the timbre of the other. Very effective uh, example of that. Uh, virtuosic but effective writing for the flute. Maybe you notice that first note, the low B on the flute. Really distinctive note. Not many flutes can play as loud as it was in that recording, but Luckily, good performer, worked out well. Uh, oh, redundancy, sorry about that. Okay, so, now, sometimes the composer outright fails. Let's, uh, the, the, here's an excerpt from a chamber orchestra piece 
uh, called Outskirts of Infinity. Um, I mean, the, the composer is not different from some of his contemporaries in that he is, is sort of haunted by a desire to be a rock star, and thus <laughs> many of his pieces are sort of, you know, watered down amalgamations of rock and roll. This piece is no exception to that. In fact, it, it uses as a point of departure a piece by Jimi Hendrix. It weaves into the piece some kind of background of, you know, a news report when Hendrix uh, died. And anyway, but let's just listen to it, and I think you're going to be able to tell uh, the reasons why this, this piece fails. Hope so, too loud. for horns up, bah, 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 bah. I mean, just really clunky, uh, not, not attractive riding for the winds. Um, we've got a climax that not only is, uh, is you know, trying to sound like rock and roll, but it sounds like a James Bond thing, you know, bah, bah, bah. you know, that, that, that classic James Bond, you, you, he should have just gone all the way, and, nah, 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 you know, something like that. That would have been better, I think, than what was there. And then finally, uh, the piece was too short. Um, maybe that's hard for you to tell from this excerpt, but, you know, the, the deadline came up, the composer wasn't done, or wasn't, didn't have as much to done as he'd hoped, so what do you do? You just put a double bar there, that's it. That's <laughs> bad, bad move. So, anyway, let's move on to the next category. So, um, yeah, I remember, I remember where I was from it. Okay, so sometimes a composer creates the near miss. I'm thinking this, this, and maybe some other people who have really studied it and looked at it. This is one of those cases. This was a valiant effort, okay? Percussion quartet with, with, with recyclables. So uh, the composer, you know, collects tons of recyclables. It's a lot of work. It doesn't really come off in performance. I don't know. Let's, let's see. But this is a video clip, and uh, you know I think I think it's a miss just because it was it was it was a good intentions, good effort, really good playing by the players, some good moments on the drum set, the other stuff maybe a little a little too much, overboard. Um. conceive of as he perseveres. Maybe we see the composer working with abstract shapes, trying to work them towards something more concrete. Not really happy with this slide, you know? It's not, I was, I, what I wanted to do was have like two other images that would kind of like fade in and out of each other. And if you can imagine this, like 
like an actual score from the composer, and then it would fade in and out of this picture, and it would kind of give you the idea of like something abstract becoming more concrete, but but I didn't I, I didn't I didn't have time to do that, so <laughs> let's try this, let's try it again. Let's try with this. So let's imagine this grid that we see in this image, the that's created by the window panes and the reflection as uh, could it be the painter Francis Bacon's grid that he talks about when he splashes paint on the canvas or sand and finds in something unexpected a grid? Could it be a distant memory of graph paper from grade school? Or just the world around him? The composer's act of composing is an attempt for him to locate himself in his world using some kind of grid. Steve, don't forget to tell them that the composer fails to, let's see, with any bow to engage in the current events and the issues that are most pressing at our time now. cell phones in a minute, to just take, a, take an opportunity to respond to an excerpt by the composer without my, you know, forcing you into an opinion or guiding you, and, and coming up with an assessment. Um, I mean, look at this. I mean, this is interesting, but no clefts. I'm not sure. Hopefully they're there somewhere in the piece. Um, I'm going to play a clip for you that's going to give you a representation of how some performers interpreted this excerpt. And then we'll just take a minute after that to assess it. We're getting near the end of the presentation here. Um, <laughs> you need not concern yourself too much. But I, I do have my phone with me. So if you could just take a minute to, you know, think about that extra you just heard. And then you can text me with your response. I'm thinking I could, maybe we can pull out a whiteboard or we could do something to just tally that up. And kind of get an assessment here of the composer's work from your point of view. And, hey, okay, we've got one coming in. This says nailed it. Okay, that's, that's helpful. Maybe uh, I can... Uh, 
put that into the to the record. I don't know. We'll, we'll just give it a little more time here. Oh, another another nailed it. Hmm, got a two. Uh, three. Take a three. Okay. Um, ooh, oh, the texts are coming in. Uh, I, it's going to take me a little more time to compile these results, so I'm going to get on that. We'll let the rest of the show go, and uh, I'll maybe get back to it later in the night, and we'll uh, give, give a report on, on how that turned out. <laughs>